Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the EGR Matte Black SuperGuard Bug Shield on this 2019 new body style Chevy Silverado 1500. Now this is the same install for the gloss finish. For this installation, I'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver and a fastener removal tool. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now before you start off, make sure your hood is thoroughly cleaned and dried. I've already gone ahead and popped the hood. Now I'm gonna take the bug shield and dry fit it. So I'm gonna center it uh, up with the hood and uh, these tabs are gonna go underneath the hood and hook up around. And now with me holding it in place, nice and centered, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lever and lift the hood up. All right, now with the hood centered, each of these tabs is gonna line up to a plastic fastener that holds on this seal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mark each one of the plastic fasteners that lines up to a tab so we know which ones to pull out. Now with all four of our plastic fasteners marked, we're gonna go ahead and go to the sides. Driver and passenger side is gonna have one extra hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the hood where that hole lines up so we know where to put our adhesive tape. Okay, now I've got the hood back down. I've got the bug shield pulled off. This is one of the two locations where we marked the actual hood, not the plastic fastener. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe down this surface with some rubbing alcohol and also on the inside. Next, we're gonna use some of our 3M tape that's included in our kit. We're gonna peel off that piece of tape. It's just clear protective tape. We're gonna put half of it on the outside of the hood and half of it on the inside of the hood. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, next we're gonna remove all four of the fasteners that we've marked. Uh, if they break while they're coming out, that's okay because we're not gonna be reusing them. Now repeat the same for the other three. Okay, now where each of the four plastic fasteners was, go ahead and pull back uh, your gasket and expose that hole. Now you're gonna have a hole plug in your kit. Uh, one side is round, that goes towards a hole. The other side, you've got a little bit of a, a rectangular shape coming out that needs to go side to side, be oriented that way. So we're gonna fit that up into the hole. Now when we have that uh, tang come back over, or the tab is going to uh, line up to that rectangular hole. Do that to all four of the holes left by the plastic fasteners. Okay, now I've already gone ahead and put the bug shield back in place. One thing you'll notice, I've got the tabs going underneath our gasket. Um, now, when I push up on here, you'll see where we've got the plug and there's the rectangular plug coming through uh, the tab. What we wanna do is make sure we keep pressure up. What that does is that traps that tab so that whenever I put the screw through there and tighten it down, it does not allow that, that plug to spin. Uh, now, the screw is going to go through one of our included washers. We also want to make sure you use the pointy end screws, not the flat end screws. Uh, and that screw is going to go up through the gasket and then into the plug and tighten it down with a Phillips head screwdriver. But before you tighten any of them down, make sure you line up all four of the screws. Okay, now we've got all three loosely installed. Go back and tighten them all up. Make sure you apply pressure so that the uh, fasteners do not spin. And repeat the same to the other three. Okay, now the holes on the ends that line up with the tape, those are gonna fasten to the hood via this clip. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gasket material, we're gonna peel the protective adhesive off of it, and then stick to the face of it and put a little gasket in front of the hole. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something that I think is a little bit easier to install than what your instructions show you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bug shield and we're gonna put our clip back behind the hole in the bug shield. Then we're gonna take our flat tipped screw with a gas or with a washer and we're gonna thread it into the clip. 
get that clip started. Once the screw is started and the threads catch, then we're going to take that clip and we're going to line it up to the hood and push the clip onto the hood. Once it's pushed onto the hood, then we're going to go ahead and tighten the screw down with a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat the same process on the opposite side. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.